Okay, so what I have here is just a bucket of water and I had the water flowing down through this tube, through these PVC pipes, and then it goes up this other clear tube all the way to the top of my ladder here. So the outlet of this tube is much higher than the water level here. So you'd expect that the highest that we can get this water to flow by itself without any external power is to the water level itself. But watch what happens when I open this valve. It starts pumping higher than the water level. It's going all the way up here. Look at this. It's even flowing back into the water bucket. <laughs> now I'll remind you there's no external source of power here. All I have is a bunch of tubes and valves connected together and it can pump the water back into the original bucket. So it would seem like I've created a perpetual motion machine. I have water that starts in a bucket, goes down through some pipes, back up way higher than the source of water itself and then back into the original bucket and it keeps going in a loop like this there's no source of power here no no hidden pumps no hidden batteries or anything so how is this possible well one crucial thing to notice is notice this waste valve here i'm wasting water as i'm pumping the water to the top here so eventually i'm going to lose all the water in my bucket so i have to fill up my bucket again so by putting in more water, I added energy to the system. So it's not perpetual motion. So how is this actually working? The working pieces are actually this valve and this valve right here. Without them, it can't work. The valves moving inside here look like this. These valves opening and closing occur naturally. And the frequency of it depends on how high your bucket is and how high your outlet of water is. But why are they moving like this? Well, let's slow it down and see what's happening here. You start the pump by holding down the waste valve, so water begins flowing out of the waste valve. And as water flows out of the waste valve, it catches the flap and it pulls it shut. But the water that was moving through the tube suddenly got slammed to a stop. And so it had kinetic energy that has to go somewhere. That kinetic energy then gets turned into high pressure in the tube. Then that high pressure opens up the second valve and forces water through it. That little bit of water that squirts through releases the pressure and the valves return to their initial positions and start over again. This process will continue as long as you have water coming in the inlet and the pressure on your outlet is not higher than the spike pressure when the valve closes. So depending on your setup, you can actually pump water hundreds of feet above your source. So the amount of water you're finally getting at the outlet is inversely proportional to the height of it. The higher you go, the less water you get and the more water is wasted. 